I just want to expound a little bit. Glory be to God. Just teaching or preaching for a few minutes. Amen. I want to talk about this. The cross. Glory be to God. <clears throat> you know, uh, if you look in the Old Testament, when somebody brought a lamb, a bullock, or a pair of turtle doves, if you were poor, as a, as a sacrificial gift to the temple or to the synagogue, what the offer of this sacrifice will do is you will get to the temple, and at the temple there were five priests, Aaron and his four sons. Glory be to God. So a lamb that you were supposed to sacrifice into the, in the temple was supposed to pass through Aaron and his four sons. And the reason why this lamp should pass through them was that they should determine to see, examine it to see if there was any blemish on it. Because you were not supposed to offer a lamp that had a blemish on it. You were not allowed to offer a lamp that was maimed or that had something on it. It had to be without blame. Glory be to God. Now let you go to the New Testament, you'll see that Jesus, leading to his death on the cross, he passed through five. Glory be to God. Just like the sacrificial lamb in the Old Testament. You went through, he wrote, Glory be to God. You went through Caiaphas. You went through Annas, the high priest. You went through Pontius Pilate. All of them examined and they, they say, we do not find the fault in this man. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. The reason why they sacrificed him was not because Jesus was guilty. He was sacrificed because he had no sin in him. He was a perfect lamb. Glory be to God. Amen. Praise be to the almighty God. Now the story did not start there. If you read the most common scripture in the Bible, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but he have everlasting life. And it didn't end there. In Ephesians chapter 5, if you read from verse 25, the Bible says, And Christ loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify her with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having any spot or wrinkle or any such thing. Glory be to the Almighty God. So Christ, God loved the world. Then Christ, he gave the world to, he gave Christ to the world. And Christ loved the church and gave himself for the church. Glory be to the Almighty God. Christ gave himself. Praise be to the Almighty God. They did not kill him. I want you to understand that. You have to change your theology. Yeah. In John chapter, chapter 10, if you read from verse 17, he says, for this reason my father loves me because I lay down my life for the sheep that I might take it again. Glory be to God. No man has the power to take it from me. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. Glory be to the almighty God. So Jesus was not killed, but he laid down his life. Amen. And this laying down of his life is not suicide. Amen. There is a difference between suicide and the laying down of his life. He did not commit suicide when I say he laid down his life. Glory be to God. People commit suicide because they've got, they've got mountains of days in their lives. They've got a lot of other things that they're going through. They commit suicide. But Jesus did not have anything that was troubling him. Even though he was rejected. Amen. But he laid down his life of his own accord. Therefore, he says, my father loves me because I laid down my life for the sheep. That I might take it again. Glory be to God. If you, see, if you, look, at the, if you look closely at the Bible, when they were hanging there, Jesus in the middle with those two robbers by his side. The Bible says they came there and... They started examining the other robber. They saw that he was still breathing. You know what they did? They broke the knees so that the death, to fast forward the death. Amen. 
When they came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead. Glory be to God. Because he gave up his life when he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. No man took this life from him. Glory be to God. He laid it down of his own accord. Praise be to the Almighty God. Glory be to God. Yes. Praise the Lord in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. He laid down this life of his own accord. Glory be to God. This is why his death is different from all the other religious founders. Amen. Shinto, the founder of Shintoism, he died a natural death. Glory be to God. He did not lay down his life. Amen. He just died like any other person. Amen. The founder of Hinduism died like any other person. The founder of Buddhism died like any other person. The founder of Hare Krishna died like any other person. Amen. The founder of Islam died like any other person. Amen. But Christ laid down his life for the sheep. Praise be to the Almighty God. That is the difference. Glory be to God. That is why the Bible says there is no other name under heaven given among men by which you must be saved but the name of Jesus in Acts chapter 4 verse 12. Glory be to the Almighty God. Amen. And that's the same reason also why Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes the first to the Jew and also to the Greek. Glory be to the almighty God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He laid down his life of his own accord. Glory be to the almighty God. He laid down his life of his own accord. If you go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, chapter 2, I like this scripture. Glory be to God. Paul says, when I came to you, and I, brethren, when I came to you, I chose not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, that your faith shall not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. How be it we speak wisdom among those that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that cometh to not, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which none of the princes of this world knew, for yet they know it. They would not have crucified the Lord of glory, but as it is written, eye has not seen, the ear has not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of men, the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit of God touches all things, yea, the deep things of God, who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him. But we have the mind of Christ. Glory be to God. When I came to you, I chose not to know anything among you, but Christ and him crucified. My speech and my preaching was not to the in words of men's wisdom. In other words, he's saying I'm not coming to you with the words that I learned at Gamaliel's feet. I'm not coming to you with the human intelligence here. I'm not coming to you, I'm not coming to you with the Biblia, you break a start cadencia. I come to you with the Christ and him crucified. Glory be to the Almighty God. Christ and him crucified is the answer to every human single dilemma. Christ and him crucified is the answer to the runaway crime rate we have in this country. Christ and him crucified is the answer to every bondage. Glory be to the Almighty God. Yay! Praise be to the Almighty God. Praise be to God. Glory be to the Almighty God. Now if you read in the book of Philippians chapter 2, Paul says, if there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any powers and mercies, fulfill in my joy, that it be all of one accord of one mind. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who though he was God, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Therefore God also had highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every other name that in the name of Jesus every knee shall power of things in heaven
heaven. Obtain to the heaven and obtain to the heaven. Glory be to the Almighty God. God has given them a name. Praise the Lord. First Corinthians chapter 2, chapter 1. Glory be to God. From verse 22, Paul says, Paul says, We preach Christ and Him crucified to the Jew a stumbling block and to the Greek foolishness. Glory be to the Almighty God. We preach Christ and Him crucified. Amen. Glory be to God. There is no message that is more important than this. Glory be to God. There is no message that is important than this. Christ and him crucified. Because why when he was on the cross, he did not say, I am finished. He said, it is finished. Glory be to the Almighty God. Glory be to the Almighty God. And in the book of Ephesians, in the book of Luke chapter 9 verse 24, Christ says, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and carry up his cross daily and follow me. Glory be to God. The cross is talking about is not this small cross that you can hang on your neck. Amen. He is talking about the big cross. Glory be to God. You know why the big cross? This cross, after church, you can, you can take it off, put it in your pocket, and go to the Sabi next door. Amen. Glory be to God. This cross, after church service, you can put it in your pocket. And go to see your side cheek. Glory be to God. But this, the cross is talking about, amen, is the cross, the cross from which he died. Glory be to the Almighty God. Sika Tarava Komara. Rota Babarava Komara Nasama. Praise be to the Almighty God. Glory be to the Almighty God. Rika Tarava Komara. Now I want you to listen very carefully. There are some people that preach and say, Christ went to the cross so that you don't have to go there. My friend, there is nothing, there is nothing further from the truth than that statement. That Christ went to the cross so that you don't have to go there. I was born crucified. Glory be to God. Paul says in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Glory be to the Almighty God. And others say Christ is suffered so that we don't have to suffer. Paul in the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 17 he says, From this day forward, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body, I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. From this day forward, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. In Isaiah chapter 53, glory be to God, the Bible says, Who has believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form, no comeliness, and when you shall see him, there is no beauty that we shall desire him. He was despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with the grief. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him striking, smiting of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. By was the stripes have been healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his only way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of our soul. Glory be to God. See, God, 